everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I really hope that you have been enjoying your Tuesday and we're going to be looking at what is going on across the Atlantic. You may hear in my voice that I'm not, you know, sounding myself and that's because I'm still sick. I'm actually uh, still dealing with the flu and as a result it's very painful for me to talk so yeah but nevertheless I'm going to try to keep this video short and let's get into what is going on. So looking at the North Atlantic, here we can see that there isn't much happening on the whole. There's a lot of robust activity in parts of Africa. Let's zoom into the area there. We're seeing a lot happening and that is associated with the intertropical convergence zone. And that is where the trade winds of the North and South meet. And when they do, there can be all that, in all that increased instability, which actually results in all this convection, all these clouds forming, these thunderstorms, rainfall. As we looked at the Caribbean though, uh, it's been a pretty sunny day for most of us, maybe with a few passing showers and that's likely to be the story as we head through the rest of today. Now, even though it has been uh, pretty much on the quiet side in the realm of rainfall activity, it hasn't been so quiet with those winds. So it's quite windy in parts of the Caribbean, uh, gale force wind gusts in some areas. So. Here we're looking at this map and we can see some of those peach and purplish shadings indicating some of those stronger wind gusts uh, in the South Caribbean and other areas such as parts of Jamaica, Cuba, Hispaniola, even parts of Central America such as Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama experiencing some of those stronger wind gusts. And so uh, there we can see that clockwise rotation to the north of the Caribbean and that is an area of high pressure so winds flow outwards in a clockwise fashion uh, within high pressure systems in the northern hemisphere so that high pressure system interacting with an airflow pressure in colombia is uh, resulting in those uh, stronger winds across parts of the caribbean so again those gale force winds uh, in the region at this time as we take a look at the global tropics hazards outlook map so it has been updated for today and we're focusing on week two here. Now the green shadings represent above average rainfall, the possibility of above average rainfall. The darker the shading, the higher the probability. Meanwhile, the brown shading indicates below average rainfall. Same thing applies. The darker the shading, the higher the possibility. So week two goes from the 20th to the 26th of March, late March. And so here we're seeing that uh, there is a chance of above average rain in parts of the southeast U.S., northern Bahamas, even western Cuba. Nothing serious highlighted for the Caribbean, but we're in the dry season, so we know how that goes. But uh, for areas such as Trinidad, Tobago, and parts of northern South America, the Guyanas, Venezuela, Colombia, Brazil, we're seeing that brown shade and indicating below average rainfall so it's likely to be drier in these areas and droughts are already affecting many different places in the caribbean so it is a very crucial time to be uh, conserving on water as best as we can but eventually the rainy season is going to be kicking in as we head into the next several weeks not right now but eventually going into april and may uh, we're going to be seeing an increase in rainfall activity across the caribbean and so guys that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update video. I hope that you found it to be very informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.